Hey there, my name is Sterling. There are so many ways to optimize your Evernote calendar event notifications, and I am so excited to share a few ideas from our community members with you. Whether you use your calendar to juggle your work and family schedules, or if you're like me and you like to add events to block precious time off of your work calendar, there's something for everyone. So let's get started. Work-life balance might feel like a stretch at times. That's why our first tip is about separating the meetings from the non-meetings, or the things that I want to be reminded to take notes for and the things that I don't want or need to take notes for. Evernote expert Stacy Harmon says, I only display the Google Calendar layers in Evernote that have meetings. That way, I don't get notifications for events that don't require note-taking, like my lunch break, for example. Since Evernote only sends notifications for your default calendar, creating separate calendars in Google can really help optimize your Evernote notifications for actionable meetings. Let's see it in action. First, let's head over to Google Calendar to create a couple new calendar categories for non-meeting events and personal events, like dropping the kids off at school or a gym class you scheduled. Now we can head back to Evernote and choose which calendars I wanna see in my widget. I can choose to display my default calendar with all my work meetings on it. And then I can layer in the other calendars to see the big picture of my schedule. From now on, for any event I don't wanna get a notification for, I'll just add it to a different calendar category so my work calendar stays optimized for meetings. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but Sterling, I like to put those events on my calendar so that I don't get overbooked with meetings during those times. So let's make those blocks of do not schedule work for you. Let me show you what I mean. From the calendar widget on my home dashboard, I can see that I've got a block of time coming up where I really need to get a few things done. I put it on my calendar to make sure that I didn't get booked for any meetings that would take my attention away from my work. I create a note straight from the widget ahead of time to prep my task list of what I want to accomplish during that block of time. Now, when I get the notification from Evernote that my focus time is coming up, I can open up the note and jump straight into what I need to get done during my reprieve from meetings. Productivity expert Ray Sidney Smith has some great additional recommendations to ensure that you are set up for success during your focus time. He recommends, Environment and sensory cues are two important factors for making the most out of what I call focus work and flow work. Environment is how you set up your surroundings, including your tools and your supplies. And your sensory cues are all the ways you can tell your body and your mind that it's time to get into this kind of work. You might open a window, have a specific beverage, or enjoy a favorite snack, wear a specific clothing or an accessory, play a tailored music playlist, or even use a scented candle. Finally, layering calendars might not be an option if you need to block important time off your calendar for personal appointments. Organization expert Deb Lee encourages Evernote users to really think about how a note can help you. She says, these event notifications from Evernote now give me a new way of remembering. These notes can be for anything, maybe things you wish to know or information you've been given on the fly, and then you can always find it quickly since it's linked to an event on your calendar. One of the best things about the ability to use Evernote notifications for non-meeting events is that you're shaving off time. Those minutes add up, so think about if you need a note for this. It can make a difference in your day. Let's see how that works. You can see here on my calendar that I have an upcoming doctor's appointment. I'm going to start a new note from the calendar widget with questions that I'd like to ask my doctor. I also have a note that lists out all of my current medications that I can link to my event for easy reference. Now I have two notes linked to this particular event. I can now use the notification that pops up at my appointment time to open these notes and remember everything that I'd like to discuss with my doctor. I can even create tasks for anything I need to remember to do after my appointment, such as picking up a prescription. Linking notes to events, even things like doctor's appointments, can help you be more organized in every aspect of your life.
As a reminder, you can optimize your notification settings from the calendar widget by going to the calendar options and choosing calendar settings. From there, you can customize the timing of notifications to start a new note and the timing notifications to open existing notes. Here, you can also choose whether or not you want to use the pre-formatted template for calendar notes. Notes have always been a great place to keep your ideas, but event notifications from Evernote now help you remember those ideas at the perfect time. These are just a few examples to get you started with calendar event notifications in Evernote. I hope these ideas help you prepare for personal appointments, get organized in moments with no meetings, and start to gain a bit more work-life balance back in your calendar. A huge thanks to our community members, Stacy, Ray, and Deb for these helpful tips. For more information on using calendar event notifications and how to get the latest update, there's a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on how to use Evernote, workflow inspiration, and all the tips, tricks, and helpful hacks to make the most out of it.